Hello everyone. Today, I will show how to make manganese chloride from AA batteries. We first start by taking a used battery and cutting it at the ends. Then, we peel off the plastic. This type of batteries are made from two parts and a copper anode. The exterior part is composed of mostly manganese dioxide and carbon, and this is what we are trying to extract. As you can see on the image, the other inside part can also be extracted to make potassium hydroxide and zinc metal. I used a screwdriver to get the zinc paste out, but sometimes it can just be pulled out with a pair of tweezers because the paste is inside a sort of clothing. Then, we simply scrape off all the manganese dioxide. This can be done with a pointy tool and it's easier when the metal casing gets deformed as it breaks the chunks inside. I only extracted one battery to see how much can be extracted and if it's worth it in the end. There was still some left inside, but I had stopped filming, so that's why there seems to be more here. Anyway, after putting it on the balance, we can see we've got a nice 11 grams. This may seem like much, but there is a big part of carbon dust inside of it, and it does actually stain the skin in dark. The next step is to dissolve the manganese dioxide in hydrochloric acid and let it react for at least an hour. Beware that this reaction generates dangerous chlorine gas according to this equation. So do this in a well-ventilated area or stay far from it when it reacts. When this is done, we can filter everything and all the carbon should be left inside the filter, whereas our manganese chloride is soluble in water and passes through it. We can also wash the filter with more water to be sure to extract everything. As we can see, the filtrate is a bit orangey and this is due to carbon microparticles. They seem to disappear when the solution is heated. Part of the colour may also come from the fact manganese chloride has a slight off-white pink tinge. The last step is to boil down the solution to dryness and we should be left with some very pale pink crystals that can then be weighted. The final mass is about 4 grams, so I would say that this extraction is quite useful since it can be annoying or hard to buy such salts online, though it's only good for a small amount. Anything more than 50 grams would take ages to extract. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.